calling me at a party a couple of months ago and saying, we're going to do it, we're going to do it, my God, we're going to do it, and you've done it. Now you've, <laughs> now you've come out, really, from being a supposed, forgive the word, indie band into a yeah, chart right. band. Now, what about your fans? Are they going to stay with you or go, all right, they've sold out? I don't know, I think we lost that, that element of our fans a long time ago. When, when, when actually the band started, when we, I came from a different group, Billy came from a different group, which were very successful in England in the independent scene. Um, when we, when we started the new group, a lot of people have seen it's like a baby dinosaur thing, you know. And we, I think we lost a lot of that cynical element of the audience. And now it's like we've got true fans that are, are, I think probably stick with us, you know, until we die. I see a lot of the doors in here, I must say. I mean, the video, which I think is wonderful in World 60s, if you can forgive me, you've got to be 60s. But I mean, the doors have a big influence on your music. Yes, they have become that, yeah. It's, uh, I think, um, the music and the images and the live performance and things. It's just um, from the point of view of relaxation and being free to flow with uh, whatever, wherever the song takes you. Mm. Free, free form. I read somewhere, Billy, he said mm. quickly, chime in before you had a chance to answer that question. <laughs> was that your idea of happiness was, well, besides being happy, to actually travel the world? What? No, the, I mean, it was just a personal thing of mine that I do enjoy travelling, so I'm in a good job for that. You know, it's important to do what you do and spread it around the world for any band, mm. you know, not, not just the cult, any band has got to be able to do what they do to the world, you know. Britain is quite a small country. Um, but I don't think they would ever lose us, because we do realise that, basically, I feel Britain is viewed upon as, um, I don't know, it's got a certain eccentricity that other countries might find envious. And uh, with that, I don't think we'd ever desert it here. We want to keep on top here, that's our main point, always have been. Now with this video, you're using Tony Van Inden, who's carving his own career, isn't he? I mean, as a, as a successful director. How, how come working with him? Um, can I let you into a secret? Yeah. I wasn't in the video. You wasn't in the video? No, it was um, Mark the drummer from Big Country. Why was that? Um, I had a car crash on the way to the video. Grief. A lot of grief. A lot of grief. <laughs> a lot of grief. Yeah. A lot of grief. It looks like you really enjoy live music. I mean, you, do you love live? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, just like sort of being there with the audience and that, it's like, there's nothing else. It's really hard to explain what it's like. It's. It's like nothing else. I mean, it's better than sex or anything. It's, it's I think, it's the ultimate. Yeah. 